To find map guide on Cafe Dostoevsky, make sure to put the corresponding subtitles. Also, you can check up Evil Eye setups on all rank maps on all objectives like these blueprints. Check it out on my subreddit in the description. Cafe is considered as a defender sided map because there are not many possibilities for attackers to enter in the building, and it is really not easy to clear out roamer systematically. Having said this, let's defend Cocktail and Bar. For this solo queue, I would recommend going with Vamai if you know that your teammates know how to do a standard rotation. Goya could be used if they don't. Putting a shield by the piano's door and securing it with the magnets will give you fortress for you. Be aware of the vice stairs window, that's why having a standard rotation between the toilet and the freezer is recommended. Speaking of the standard stuff. Make sure to check out the vertical defender angles on the cafe, video link in the description. Your whole defend when playing in a stack is based how to deny or stall attacker's push into the piano and later onto the freezer, and you deny freezer by denying wide hallway push. Without freezer control, attackers do not have safe spots to plant and are vulnerable if planting. Speaking of that, all the cocktail as well as the bar floor is seaforable. Finally, let's talk about the setup. We'll use 8 reinforcements, 2 by the piano to do red drop. Not to allow attackers just to simply enter in the piano, but to use utility to get in. Then we'll have 4 more inside of the piano, 2 toilets as well as the freezer vaults, so they don't have long angle from the piano all the way towards the freezer and the cocktail. One more reinforced wall will be on the freezer vaults, closer to the door, just for a place to be if you want to contest the freezer. If attackers open the piano to freezer walls, and the 8th wall will be put by the cocktail, so you have an additional anchor spot in the cocktail, which is usually ACOG. When making rotations, you will need 3 of them, one just by the latest reinforcement, crouch one on the far right side, so attackers on the skylight do not have angle on you, unless they have actually climbed on the skylight. Above the rotation, as well as on the other wall, make higher than head level line of sights. So players on the top of the tables have another deep angle into the cocktail, but as well as your smoke and deny any plant or a push from there. We will have a rotation between the freezer and the cocktail entrance, and one more rotation between the toilet and the freezer. Speaking about the rotation between the freezer and cocktail rotation, make it that you can run through it, mainly due to the skylight angle that might attackers have. You shouldn't be worrying as much about the east balcony windows, because if that happens, It'll just happen in the first 40 seconds of the round, or if there will be a rush push. Attackers are the lack of manpower to do a standard piano push, wasting more attackers for the east windows most likely won't happen. I cannot vouch about this in the lower ranks. That is why maybe having a Valkyrie camera that will have eyes on the east side is always recommended, and if you have brought Valkyrie, having one in the piano as well as the, around the new drop is good. It's recommended to play Kaid on this side, especially if Thatcher was banned, as you can play his Retellas in the reading for your freezer walls. Let's talk about the required barbed wires, and you will need them on the white stairs and the white hallway. If you have another set of the barb, having one by the drop and the other one by the bar to drop entrance is recommended. I have also forgot to mention to open up as much table angles as possible, because you will be able to knife the default from freezer, and overall, you will have long angles all the way from the cocktail. Oryx can clear out tables in one go. And for our final topic, which is anchor spots, you will definitely want to have one by the cocktail, as from there, as previously mentioned, you can deny any bar push, but you can also see the top of the Y stairs. Barred wire on the stairs will help then. Another anchor spot can be found in the freezer, as you can play pretty much fluidity around, from stopping attackers to push in the bar, having a crossfire with the cocktail person, or he can stop players entering the piano, helping the piano guy. Speaking of the piano hold, holding it from the pixel spot is recommended, with a usual deployable shield. Some teams like to have one or even two C4s from underneath, but it is not required. What usually is done in the Pro League is to cast low the double barricade between the shop and the piano, and have, usually smoke or mute, playing the shop very aggressively onto the drop. The casted barricade is held with a pair of ADSs, that will be a bit more complex hold. Overall, in basics, you want to stall as much their piano push, and not allow attackers to progress into the wide hallway. One more thing, 
we have not reinforced these two piano walls because sometimes you'll be able to knife from the white hallway plane from there. You can reinforce that if you are unsure, but it's just not a mandatory thing to reinforce. We'll be defending split on the first floor because we'll use the similar but not the same idea to defend it, which is to stall the piano push, but this time also to stall the white hallway push. You will want to hold as much cocktail and the top of the white stairs, because as long as you will be there, attackers won't be able to play vertically. Having said this, using Maestro primarily for his evil eyes in the piano, as well as on the cocktail enforced wall is recommended for this solo queue. Because you can deny many drones with these, and you can use indestructible camera as an infra when to peek. Having a buy leaf as well as impacts will allow you to retreat. Having said this, let's see the reinforcements. Two will be by the piano to red drop. The same reasoning, but this time we'll have two more in the freezer to the cocktail walls. Because we'll be defending cocktail a lot. Who cares about the bar? With all this being said, we'll have even a bigger stronghold with the two additional reinforcements on the cocktail. Playing Goyo here is extremely good, because you can put a Goyo in piano by the pixel spot, by the white hallway, and by the cocktail double doors. Having ADSs to covering these means your shields will be actual mirror windows. We'll have two reading walls reinforced and two more pillar walls. So you can safely drop from the balcony without being contested from the red window and its hallway. This time will be used barred wires, if you don't have Goyo, by the white hallway. And white stairs to garage. Just to make sure you're not being pushed from there. Having additional barred wire by the entrance of the reading to the pillars is recommended. And fourth barred wire is optional. One mandatory rotation is between the washroom and the reading. And also open up the cocktail hatch. Also, don't forget for the standard vertical line of sight, link in the description. Mandatory line of sights are the both objectives walls towards the hallway, so you can from the reading deny the fireplace push. Some teams prefer having line of sight main on this side of the wall, as well as you can deny fireplace push from the white stairs. But you can also deny any planter planted behind the bomb with this angle. There are not many anchor spots, you will need a person by the wash machine room, and that's it. Or two, one more in the library. You will definitely need at least two people around the cocktail. Don't forget that from cocktail you can deny reading push very easily. And I know that I'm repeating this for the third time. Because not many teams, even in the platinum or diamond, utilize these vertical defender angles. We'll go to kitchen and bakery. Because the other side is probably the one you don't want to defend. It's not that hard to defend. It's just. It's better to defend the cocktail, kitchen, split, and then mining and fireplace. Having said this, you can have a cool Goyo solo queue setup around the restaurant. One facing small bakery, one from the behind the bar towards the middle stairs and the window, and the last is by the VIP corridor, a bit further than the window in the restaurant, so it cannot be shut down from the window. You're holding a pretty much important area by yourself. Make a rotation hole over here, so you can retreat back. Now for the stack, you'll need 6 mandatory reinforcements, from the prep to the bakery, and cooking to bakery, and 2 more from freezer to garage. Note that I'm talking about the default strats in the ranked. In the pro league, more advanced strats are to lead the left wall sword with a leg level line of sight, but that's for advanced stuff. Now you can optionally reinforce the 2 more cooking walls or just one depending on if you or your team wants to play in the closet. From the closet, you're denying their hallway control as well as you can see a big part of the cooking. And with the according angles on the service, you can see all the way to the red stairs. If you don't plan to plant the closet, reinforce these two walls. Both of them. If you plan, reinforce just the right one. The other optional wall to be reinforced is if you want to have Likotez Bakery prep walls or not. And if you do, reinforcing small bakery wall will make your bakery hall even better. You could already see that there are two kinds of pushes, bakery and freezer push. Whereas freezer does not require for attackers vertical pressure as much as the bakery requires. Especially tonight the four spots in the service. So utilizing vertical angles as a defender on the bakery push is 10 out of 10 recommended. Are you forced attackers to clear you up? For the barred wires, you will need one in the prep. So takers cannot just like that cross through the prep due to the giant double window, as well as the barbed wire now. 
you will need a barbed wire by the red hallway, making the red hallway a death mission to pass. And more barbed wire can be put by the freezer hallway as well as the middle stairs. For the same reasons as the first two. You will need just one rotation, which is between the restaurant's bar and the service double door, but you will also need an angle between the service and cooking. The rotation is required because, as I said, holding up restaurant is very important, and you will sometimes have to retreat back to the restaurant or back to the service. There are two anchor spots to be. Both in the service, and due to the pre-made angles, you will be able to see deep inside of the service. For this defend, you need smoke or echo, because fighting against long angles, especially without an echo, is not ideal. Badly tricking the cooking walls is recommended, as long as they don't have vertical control. Speaking of them not having vertical control, feel free to play around the big window or even prone near the bomb. You will get free kills there. Aside from the anchor spots, you'll need someone to play in the restaurant or VIP. That's an important area to hold, and not that hard to hold. And that's why leg level holes are usually made with the freezer walls in the pro matches, as the VIP restaurant player does not need to hold the garage angle anymore, but can trust his teammate on covering his back. And by the restaurant you can have nice metal holes towards the window and the middle stairs. And for our final defend, we'll be defending mining and fireplace, and this side is held either off the side, because you will most likely lose piano control eventually, so defending both objectives on the hallway is a valid threat. Or really, but really heavy investment on the top. That is why for the solo queue plays, playing on the top is mandatory. The issue with the standard threat is that you cannot allow to lose this pixel spot, and if you do, you will have to engage attacker somehow, and how this site was usually held, pre the nerf, was with a mirror window from all the way back from the cocktail to the freezer, with the dog or echo, ACOG. So we will do something similar with this. Assuming that mirror was banned, you'll first need to reinforce the default piano walls as well as the freezer wall where we previously had a rotation. You will also reinforce the toilet to piano walls, and that's five. You will need a reinforcement by the cocktail where we had for the second defend, and obviously, I forgot, reinforce the piano hatch. You are now left with the three reinforcements to play with. Usually, we want to reinforce the pillar walls, which are two and the large reinforcement goes to the fireplace towards the white stairs, on the north side. This wall is reinforced, like this, because you want to be able to use the white stairs as rotations, and deny the fireplace behind the bomb plant spot, if rush happens. The whole top floor setup is made so you can play with several crossfires, long angles all the way from the cocktail hallway. Note that, we reinforce this wall so you can use the hallway constantly, not be worried about being picked from the piano. Previously we had the other two walls in the freezer reinforced, so that wasn't the case. And another crossfire will be from the toilet towards the piano, as well as from the pixel towards the piano. These are three angles that attacker will have to worry about. You will definitely need wall cray on the east side or the balcony, because any repel on the east side has to be dealt with. Either by jumping out and getting retraded, or going from the garage, run out, or proning by the window, or anything. No taker should be by the east balcony. I have already touched a bit about this topic, but you will need a rotation between the train and the fireplace, in case you have a player there. You will need head level, line of sight on the freezer to the piano walls, and the rotation between the freezer and the toilet. Don't forget to do the vertical angles from above, to force the taker pushing you out. Barred wire should be placed, at least two by the white stairs toward the garage. You don't want to be pushed from there. And the anchor spots, you can play one in the train, but the rest four should be roaming at the top. Or you could actually play with the pools from below. Thank you for watching this video and staying with me for this long, and thanks all the patrons and YouTube members for making this video available. If you want to learn all the basics and advanced things about the siege, Make sure to give me a like, subscribe and click notification bell to get all notifications from my channel. Make sure to give me feedback down in the comment section below.